Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the rooms. I will show you the 5 golden rules how you can increase your productivity when you work and increase the rooms. So let's start. When you start and work with your rooms, it's a bit hard to understand where is the different types of the your rooms. As you know, we have a lot of different types of our room and a lot of different parameters. So let's see which parameter we have right now here. As you can see, we have the name and then we have the, of course, the number. Also, we have other different parameters. All these parameters we can sort and we can show it like a um, graphics color scheme on the our floor plan let's go to the our uh, settings uh, of our floor plan you will find here the color scheme let's go here and you will see for example the color scheme number one let's see what this type of this color scheme i will change to the rooms the category because we want to sort rooms and you will see here the name let's use the name and you will see we can now sort by name but let's say you don't want to sort by name you want to sort by number by number of your room so let's copy it and let's create the new one and we will we will change the color not by name we will change the color by number let's say okay and you will see different number have different color let's apply that and you will see now the different color with different number so let's go back to the our of view template. Oh, I sorry to the our color scheme, and we will change our number. Let's say to the area. Different area now have different color. Why not? Now you will see it will change again. If you don't wanna do the that thing, you wanna mm, change by name. Of course, just go back to the color scheme and change to the name. Let's change to the name. Name. Let's say OK, and you will see now it's again changing by name. So this situation is actually a bit unique, because if you will see our uh, room, you will see all standard parameters. But what if you have some unique parameter? Let's say you want to create the parameter fire safety why not let's create the fire safety parameter for a room if you don't know how to create the parameters in revit for some category like a room you can check on the, my previous videos on my channel you will find the answer on that question if you already know that let's create it so you should go to the manage find here the project parameter and let's create the new one let's add here the new parameter and let's call it fire safe and here we should choose our category category is actually the room and don't forget the type of the parameter it should be, be text because i want to say uh, this is uh, something like what i want to write yes of course you can use the integer number up to you but i prefer use to text Let's use the text and let's say OK. Now, if you will say OK here and if you will select your room, you will see here the new parameter under the text fire safe. Let's say 30 min. OK, now this uh, this room now have the new parameter fire safe with the parameter 30 minutes. Uh, let's say this bedroom will be have the same parameter. As you can see, we already have it and we will say 10 minutes so what we're gonna do now now we can go to the color scheme and we will find here the new parameter we will find here the parameter fire safe let's use it let's say okay and as you can see now we have two values we can add the some new one let's add the some lights let's say okay and you see new color scheme or maybe 40 minutes non or maybe even 60 minutes maybe 60 minutes let's say okay as you can see we have a lot of now different parameters let's say okay and now we have the colors only where this parameter is the right uh, as you can see here is the written this parameter and that's why we have the color if i will choose for example this room oh here the second problem but it's the next 
next golden rule uh, let's select this room for example and fire safe i will choose 40 minutes as you can see now different color pretty easy pretty easy so and now you will see where is your rule now i will tell you how you can find your room by five seconds only i know that sometimes we cannot see where is the this x of our room we are using the, the tab key to find it and okay finally we find it but what what if you have like a room like this one or maybe even bigger like 1000 uh, square meters why not so how you will find this x on that uh, on that room it's really hard but you can go to the architecture you can take you can just click on the room and what you can see you can see now all the x so now i understand on this position we have the x just escape use the tab key and you will find here the x really easy right because uh, under the this position actually the x you cannot see because it's under the height even if you will go to the hidden one you not will find this x you will find it only if you will say room and you will see where is the X. Of course, you can go to the visibility graphics and switching it on. But again, this is not fast. The faster one, if you will say architecture, room, okay, uh -huh, here the X, uh -huh, okay, here is the my X. I can, now I can choose it. Now here, one, second one, other one, and you will see it everywhere. So this is shortened room. When you're working with rooms, we have sometimes the problem. For example, here is the, my room and I don't want this room. I'm selecting this room and I'm deleting it. Okay, now I'm deleting only the mark. Let's delete this room and done. I didn't read what the uh, Revit saying to me. I just close it and I just trying to put here the other room. Okay, finally, and after that I'm tagging this room, okay, so here is the my new room, and I'm thinking everything okay, but it's not. So, if you want to delete your room, you should create the schedule. This is must right way to manage your rooms. So, here is my schedule, as you can see already, and what I can see here. Okay, office and 90, 96 square, square feet. Oh my god, what is that? Uh, crawling space not place it, bathroom not, not place it, and room not enclose it. So, as you can see, I have like three different rooms with some non understandable the tagging because it's not square, square feet. What is that? So, I will show you what is that. When you're placing your room, for example, somewhere, where it's not closing by walls for example i will place it here it means the this this room it's not closed so let's go to the room schedule and what we will find here oh not enclosed it so it means you should you should manage this room physically it's inside on your project because you can select it and you can highlight and model so it means physically it's it's inside the in project Okay, so but if what if you don't want to use this room, you should delete it. So just select it here, delete. Now Revit saying us if you delete, you will delete from the this project. Yes, say okay. Uh, here the second one not enclosed. It. Let's delete it. Let's delete. Okay, and here it's not placed and not placed. It. What does mean not placed? When you delete your room from the like like i'm doing right now from the plan you not delete it actually you just deleting it from the view but not from the your revit as you can see now our bathroom it's not it's not placed and it's not physically inside in project but it's still uh, having this name and uh, in uh, i mean take taking this name inside this project so you should manage it and you should clean cleaning it so we should delete it like this and that one also i should delete and that one too i should delete so now it's not in this rooms not inside in our project and now we can work it and now we can take this name take this number and uh, for example we have unique number if you not will clean it you will have double numbers so it will be duplicating this is really so bad thing so manage your rooms by schedule how to create schedule 
actually pretty easy. Just right click on the schedule, new schedule. You will find here this uh, pop up uh, window and here just choose the rooms. Let's say OK. And after that, choose some settings, for example, the area and name. Let's place it name first. Let's say OK, done. Here is our new schedule. So use schedule to manage your room. Now I want to talk about uh, after tagging. So let's say you are placing your rooms. Sometimes how it's, uh, how's you placing the rooms like this without any some like issue. You just placing your rooms and after that you taking your rooms like one by one like this you're taking your rooms okay so this is perfect but it's taking the time but let's say you are a bit smart and you're not placing rooms uh, manually you are placing the rooms by the after tagging so you are going of course the to the tag the all not tagged and after that you are choosing here the rooms room tagging let's say okay and it's automatically tagging but what the golden rules i want to show you when you're placing your room, think about your tags, because where you will place your X of your room, there will be your the tag. So don't place it somewhere, place it it's exactly where you want to place your tag. This is, will be easiest for you and on the next stage. So let's say, for example, like for by this room, when I'm placing my room, I'm thinking about my tag. I want it on the middle side. Okay, here I will place my room. And after that, I'm going to the tag, automatically tagging, room tags. Okay, and you will find it now exactly on the middle one. So when you place your room, think where will be your tag, and it will make your life much easier on the next stage.